Hi guys and welcome to my Friday the 13th ranking video. In this video we are looking at the main 11 Friday the 13th movies. So no Freddy vs. Jason or other spin-offs in here. Nothing against Freddy vs. Jason of course, great movie. But this ranking is based on just purely those main 11 Friday the 13th movies. So having said that, let's get into it starting with number 11. And coming in at number 11, it is Jason Goes to Hell, The Final Friday. This one just didn't offer up enough. Really was just a pretty basic movie. And with the whole concept of Jason not being the actual killer here, this one falls quite a bit behind the rest of the other Jason movies. You get the awesome part at the end, of course, with the Freddy and Jason crossover, but really that's about it. In at number 10, it is part 5, A New Beginning. There are some okay moments in here, but of course, again with Jason not being the actual killer, this one just falls down the list a bit. And in at number 9, it is Jason X, Jason Goes to Space. A very fun movie here. The franchise doing something different, a bit of variety, and I think it worked. You can have some fun with this movie. Next up, it is Friday the 13th, The Final Chapter, Part 4. Some real pacing issues in the middle of this movie. It just seems to be the teenagers sitting in that house pretty much doing nothing for one portion of it there. Again, some good moments, but this movie does lack something. In at number 7, it is the remake. Pretty cool movie here, not perfect but nice to see that modern take on Jason. Released back in 2009, so now they could do an even more updated version with a new release of a new Jason movie, possibly. But definitely a good movie here. Next up, it is Jason Takes Manhattan, putting this one just ahead of the remake. Yeah, everybody complains about, hey, it's not actually based in Manhattan at all. And the whole movie is basically just Jason on the boat on his way to New York. But I think getting to Manhattan is part of the movie. There is some good stuff in there. And I think Kane Hodder's performance here as Jason, it's pretty brutal, pretty physical if you watch it. A very good performance as Jason. So it's an okay movie. Now into the top five. Now these next two movies are very similar and could almost be interchangeable, but I'll put number seven here. That is part seven, The New Blood. A good, fun Jason movie here, and this one has a very good ending to it. That's its strong point. And for part six, Jason Lives, again, another fun movie, very similar to the one I had just mentioned just a bit more solid overall than number seven. And coming in at number three is a very good Friday the 13th movie. It is part three. Very good final girl here with Chris. Very solid entry into the franchise. A lot of good stuff going on here. Of course, you have that iconic barn used in this movie. The big ax chop to Jason's mask happens here with that indentation on the mask, staying there for several movies. As I say, very good Friday the 13th movie here. And for number two, it is going to be the original. Again, Jason not used as the killer here. However, that did not take away so much from this movie. It's the original, it's a classic, very good movie. The tension, the build up to some of these kills, just a very good movie overall. And again, your main girl with Alice, very competent in that role indeed, and just such a great shame that she was killed off so early in part two, but we'll get to that in just a moment. And part two, that is the number one movie on my list, mentioning there how we lose Alice so early on in this film. Bit of a shame how they did that. But the girl who took over, Ginny, she is just superb in this movie anyway very good as the main girl here but this movie just does not disappoint for me it's solid it's entertaining good cast it doesn't really trail off and get boring anywhere 
And as I say, Amy Steele as Ginny, just totally awesome as the final girl here. Good cast overall and a solid Friday the 13th movie here.